Welcome back to IRI TV and Association with Tonians. Okay, this is our first look at our half balls that hopefully some of you may have. Okay, this means we're going to get more reps in when we actually are practicing. So today we're going to look at mainly the pop pass, okay, which is the initial stages of learning how to pass. We have our clock face up here, okay, we've clock faces out the walls again outside, so just as coaches to get your player to look at the clock face, you don't have to say anything and hopefully it'll, something will resonate with them. Okay, so we, in the previous section we talked about getting our hands to the target, okay, getting our hands away from the body and positioning our hands at 3 o'clock. Okay, in order for me to catch at 3, the player that I'm receiving the pass from must have finished at 9. Alright, so this is where we're looking at the start and finish, release in around 7 and 8. Okay, so the first stages of a pop pass should be to catch at 3, work the ball across, release 7, 8, and finishing at nine. Okay, so as coaches, we don't actually need to say anything. We can point to the wall, which has the clocks on it. All right, and remind our players, start at three, catch at three, finish at nine, follow through at nine. Okay, release in round seven to eight. Obviously, when we go up in the age groups, it'll be just that straight line, straight across our body. Okay, so we'll go inside now and have a look at that in action. Okay, so right now looking at the, putting the practical, or sorry, putting the theory into practice. Okay, so obviously we've got a clock on this side and a clock on this side. So this is for the green pop pass. And all right, generally when we look into pop pass, we want to try and catch a three like we discussed and pass a nine. And this is visual, a visual for, I suppose, the younger kids to see that represented on a clock face. All right, so instead of saying, oh, you know, have your hands up and finish in that position, we can then point and go, remember the clock face, we want to catch a three, work the ball across our body and distribute at nine ideally, but for the younger kids, I suppose anywhere from maybe seven, eight. All right, using the clock face, so actually that release is at seven or eight. Obviously when we get older, we wanna make sure we're catching at the top at three, not dipping the ball and driving straight across her body. Okay, so if we have a look at how that looks. All right, so I'm standing up in this position here, just to give you an example. Catch at three, bring the ball across her body, and we're releasing in between seven and eight and nine okay so hopefully that just really gives it a bit of clarity and again don't be afraid to bring the kids over and actually have them up against the wall so they get an understanding of why they're actually trying to do that style of pass okay hopefully that's clear any questions any issues like before just get in touch